As UFC 297 draws near, Drykus Duplessis is getting ready up for the middleweight title bout against Sean Strickland. With everyone talking about the big fight coming up, Duplessis is dealing with doubts about his cardio versus a guy like Sean Strickland. Many fans seem to be underestimating Duplessis due to perceived cardio issues. However, the South African fighter strongly rejects these claims, asserting that his conditioning is not a weak link heading into the bout. Here is what he said. I honestly think the first round will play a big role in how this fight ends. I know it's a five-round fight, it's different. Sean has had a lot of time in five-round fights, but people forget that for five, six years, I was a champion in every promotion I fought. I only fought five-rounders for six years of my career. That's the only thing we prepared for. Ever since then, I've never stopped preparing for five rounds. I didn't start preparing for three rounds. I know five rounds, it takes longer. But against Whitaker, it was such a high-paced fight. In that second round, I wasn't even at 50% in terms of my cardio. I felt amazing. Everybody could see it. We had to make some adjustments, brought some new people in terms of strength and conditioning, and made it more scientific. That's one thing that I think is gonna shock a lot of people. It remains to be seen whether Duplessis' cardio will be an issue in this five-round fight, or if his insane power will end the match in the early rounds. Sean Strickland is gearing up to defend his title against Drykus Duplessis. This matchup comes after a sudden change of plans by UFC President Dana White, who first stated that Kamzat Chimeyev being the contender for the title shot. However, following Chimeyev's performance in his last fight, the UFC swiftly altered course, placing Duplessis in the spotlight against Strickland. Here is what Strickland said about the situation. I feel good, man, I feel good. It's always gonna be a war. I think Drykus is like, so awkward that he's good. I'm a million times better than him. I spar guys he's fought, I know who he is. But he's so awkward that he's good. It's gonna be a war. He'll be a tougher fight than Chimeyev. Chimeyev, he doesn't deserve it, we all know that. The only reason why Chimeyev gets that shot is because he sells a lot of tickets. That's it. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with Drykus. I'm just happy the UFC's doing the right thing. He's next in line. Strickland made it clear that he thinks Drykus Duplessis is a tougher fight than Kamzat Chimeyev, sparking a lot of conversation on social media. Please let me know who do you think is the tougher fight for Strickland, Chimeyev or Duplessis? After Kamzat Chimeyev won his fight against Kamaru Usman, he moved up to rank 8 in the middleweight division. Brendan Allen, who is currently ranked 2 spots below Kamzat, wasn't happy about Chimeyev's rise in the rankings. Here is what he said. It wasn't a middleweight fight. They weighed in at 85 but they're both 170s. I don't know if anyone here is on the panel, but if you are, I don't like you. This guy hasn't beat an 85er, especially a ranked 85er. He beat the number one 170 guy. Cool, congratulations. I think everyone can agree that in a 5 round fight, Cameron Usman wins, and that was off the couch. Keep him at 70 and rank him number one. Okay do that. But this is a different thing. It's out of my lane. It's bullshit. The rankings are absolutely political. It's people going off of politics, because it's not off of skill. If we're going off of pure skill, there's tons of guys that shouldn't be in. After losing a tough fight to Sean O'Malley, ex-bantamweight champ Aljamain Sterling says he's moving to a heavier weight class. Sterling had been thinking about this change for a bit, and decided after his recent loss. He talked about why he's making the move and how he's getting ready for it. Here is what he said. Checking my weight, lean body mass versus fat mass in my entire body, and I actually check out to be an average sized featherweight, which is crazy to me because every time I look at these featherweights, I feel like they're so much bigger than me. It's very interesting to see the numbers, see the data, see how my strength racks up, my endurance. 
It gave me a lot more comfort in where I'm at and making the move to 145. But I got one other thing I want to do this next week. As of right now, my mindset is definitely leaning towards 145 featherweight. I want to do one more round of testing on my own. Psychologically, I still feel like I need to be the biggest guy because that's just what I did at bantamweight. I need to make sure I'm gonna be okay, comfortable, confident that I can win and compete with guys in that weight class. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.